if you want to see more topics then check the playlist section of this channel also if you want to buy my notes then check the link in the description below in this video we will see a problem on thevenin's theorem question find vo using thevenin's theorem now here for this circuit we have to find the value of vo now this vo is the voltage across this 8 ohm resistance solution so first of all we have to find the value of rth so step number 1 is to find rth now to find rth remove rl and turn off turn off all independent sources all independent sources now here in this circuit this is the load resistor rl here we can write rl is equal to 8 ohm so let's remove this rl now here this will be our thevenin's resistance rth and we have to turn off all the independent sources now here this current source is a independent current source so when we turn off independent current source that time we have to replace it by open circuit so let's replace this by open circuit and when we turn off a voltage source independent voltage source that time we have to replace it by short circuit now we can easily find the value of rth here we can see 3 ohm and 6 ohm are connected in parallel so 3 ohm parallel with 6 ohm this will be 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6 so it is equal to 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6 it is 2 so this is 2 ohm now let's copy this circuit and we can replace these two resistor by a single resistance of 2 ohm so this will be of 2 ohm now here we can see rth is equal to these are all the resistances connected in series so it will be 4 plus 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 plus 2 which is equal to 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 2 8 so therefore rth is equal to 8 ohm now we got the value of rth next we have to find the value of vth to find vth that is thevenin's voltage again what we have to do we have to remove rl and VOC is equal to VTH. That means we have to find open circuit voltage, which will be equal to Thevenin's voltage. So let's take this circuit from here again. Let's copy this. Now let's remove RL first. So here this 8 ohm is the value of RL. and now this will be our vth this is positive and this is negative now here this 4 ohm is open circuited that means this node voltage will be our vth the voltage across this current source will be vth so here we can use mesh analysis to find the value of vth or we can use nodal analysis to find the value of vth so let's use nodal analysis let's say this is a reference node or ground node let's say this is node v1 and this is node vth we have to assume all the currents towards this reference node so let's say this is current i1 this is current i2 and this is current now here this 2 ohm is in series with 2 ampere so this current will be 
2 ampere. Now let's apply KCL at node V1. Apply KCL at node V1. Now according to Kirchhoff's current law, summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node. Now here at this node entering current is I1. So I1 is the entering current and this 2 ampere is also entering. So I1 plus 2 is equal to leaving current is I2. Now we can write I1 as 12 minus V1. 12 minus V1 divided by 3. Then plus 2 is equal to I2. Now this I2 is V1 minus 0 divided by 6. V1 minus 0 divided by 6. Now we can easily find the value of V1 from this. So let's find V1. So simplifying this. So 12 by 3 minus V1 divided by 3 plus 2. Now if we take this on left side, so it will be minus V1 by 6 is equal to 0. We can take V1 common. So V1 in bracket minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 6. And this will be 4, 4 plus 2. So 4 plus 2 is 6 is equal to 0. So V1 in bracket, let's solve this. It will be minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 6. So it is minus 1 by 2 or minus 0 0.5. Minus 0 0.5 plus 6 is equal to 0. So V1 in bracket minus 0 0.5 is equal to minus 6. So V1 is equal to this minus and this minus will get cancelled. So 6 divided by 0 0.5. So V1 is equal to 6 divided by 0 0.5 which is equal to 12, 12 volt. Now, since we got the value of V1, but here we have to find the value of VTH. Now, this VTH will be, now here, VTH minus V1 is equal to 2 ampere. VTH minus V1 divided by, VTH minus V1 divided by 2 ohm is equal to 2 ampere. Here we can see VTH minus V1 divided by 2 is equal to 2 ampere. Now we got the value of V1. So V1 is 12. So VTH minus 12 divided by 2 is equal to 2. We can take this 2 on this side. So it will be VTH minus 12 is equal to 4. We can take this on right side. So VTH is equal to 4 plus 12. Now VTH is equal to 16 volt. Now we got the value of VTH and we also got the value of RTH. So now we can draw Thevenin equivalent circuit. So this is VTH. This is VTH, this is RTH, RTH and this is load resistor RL, this is RL. The value of VTH is 16 volt, the value of RTH is, RTH value is 8 ohm. And the value of RL, the value of RL is also 8 ohm. RL is equal to 8 ohm. Now what we have to find, we have to find voltage across this 8 ohm, which is VO. So the voltage across this 8 ohm is VO. Now this circuit is called as Thevenin, Thevenin's equivalent circuit Thevenin's equivalent circuit and this current 
is current I L. Now to find the value of I L, there is a formula I L is equal to V T H divided by R T H plus R L. This is simple Ohm's law. Voltage divided by resistance. So the value of V T H is sixteen divided by R T H value is eight. Plus R L value is also eight. So sixteen divided by R T H is eight, and R L is also eight. So sixteen by sixteen is one ampere. So this is the value for I L. But here we have to find the value of V O. Now V O is equal to V O is equal to this R L into I L. We have to multiply current and resistance to get the value of voltage. So R L into I L. So V O is equal to R L value is eight ohm, and I L value is one ampere. So therefore V O is equal to eight volt. Don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel, and thanks for watching.